it's getting very very hot yes the climate and the indian car scene in the job that i'm so lucky to be in i get to drive pretty wild stuff here and there but today is rather special cuz i get to drive a car that is unlike anything on the entire planet ladies and gentlemen welcome to the drivers hub my name is bhavneet vaswani and you're watching auto culture and this is the skoda vrs 245 all wheel drive and it's the first ever in the world brain child of mr anirudh the owner of this lovely workshop mechanics automotive and this mean vrs 245 He wanted a car that could rip your face off in a drag race and be compliant enough to be daily driven. Now the owner Anirudh made sure that this car is as sedate as you can be while driving it normally because he dailies it and driving it like a normal human being you wonder basically what all has been done because apart from the slight little bobble from the exhaust you don't basically notice what is going on. Mind you this is on OEM plus springs oem plus lower arm bushes and an oem plus anti roll bar the indian vrs comes with a plusher suspension and that is because skoda thinks that uh, the life is kind of compromised with these bad indian roads but if you ask me if you just going to drive a little more carefully over the rough roads this is an amazing setup because it's not as stiff as a set of bilsteins or a set of olens but these are really really nice they do the job very well and it's the perfect middle spot and i mean if you're going to drive something like this you wouldn't mind driving it slow because it's your baby and the other plus point is that when you drive it slow you can see the people's faces drop because this car is an absolute stunner granted most people won't understand what this thing is but people who know will definitely notice and appreciate it the rs245 in its stock form is a pretty handsome car already with muscular lines along the body paired with beautiful proportions throughout to summarize it all the octavia is like a pair of good fitting jeans wear a shirt with them you're ready for your dinner date wear a t-shirt over it and you can go to the picnic go to the pub whatever super casual the octavia is that versatile and that's why i love it and the vrs treatment on the exterior does a very good job at making it look mean too with a mina bumper at the front blackout treatment all over and dual fat exhaust at the rear the owner has done some subtle changes to the exterior as well like these carbon fiber orvms maxton carbon fiber rear diffuser and these yummy 18 inch rims from bbs but where mr anirudh hasn't compromised is under the hood if you haven't recognized the background we are at the mechanics automotive in pashan sus area here in pune and pretty much all of the wildest stuff that happens in pune goes through this garage we also have our own series coming up over here and it's the punto abad stage 2 we are getting it done right here at the mechanics automotive and it's going to be pretty wild i'm watching episode 2 and it's pretty lit so i'd suggest you subscribe so that you don't miss out The 2 liter TSI is now aspirated by a big fat turbo from Garrett. Integrated engineering sorts out the intercooler, the turbo muffler delete and the turbo inlet pipe. Surprisingly, it has a stock air intake, but these guys decided that the filter is more important than the entire intake, so they just changed the air filter to a pipe across one and it works perfectly. You also get a 3-inch downpipe from Miltech and a full system exhaust from IAS Performance from our friend Amir. Sounds like a huge list, doesn't it? Well, the results are tremendous. Now, as I said, results can be tremendous, but all of that power only to the front wheels impossible. That's pretty much useless. That's why this car is equipped with a Holdex all-wheel drive system. And then the results are tremendous the 
stock 245 makes 245 bhp well as the name suggests this in its stage 2 form made 350 bhp and now it makes 420 horsepower it does 0 to 100 in less than four and a half seconds and when you floor it All you hear is that turbo going woo and you are propelled to the back of your seat screaming for your mom. This is actually quite crazy. Plus, this Europe treatment of OEM plus suspension isn't that bad to be honest. It feels really good when you chuck it into a corner and plus the all-wheel drive haul deck system is always there to get your back. This inspires so much confidence compared to the front-wheel drive car. Because of the all-wheel drive system, you have quite a lot of confidence even on the exit because it stays super planted even though you thrash that pedal down onto the ground on the exit, the car just stays rock solid. And that's all because the power is being shifted all over. Wherever you need it, the power goes. And I am just... I, I wish I could show you guys Soham's face right now. He's filming right now and he is absolutely petrified. This is actually very confidence inspiring. This is also a front biased all wheel drive system. So don't expect to be sliding everywhere. This feels really nice just as a grip monster. And I am so surprised at how versatile it is. You can just drive normally and then just stamp on the throttle. <laughs> that, that's so I'm laughing and we are, and you are out shot into space this is crazy Some important stuff I forgot to mention was that this car is running a stage 3 ECU and TCU tune from E-Tuners India and that's not all. The older fuel pump wasn't able to keep up with the amount of pressure the ECU was asking. Thus, this car has been fitted with an Autotech high pressure fuel pump which ensures more performance and more importantly reliable performance. Now mechanics doesn't want to reveal how they managed to create this all-wheel drive monster. All we know is, it is a Haldex all-wheel drive system bolted underneath the car. They don't want to reveal their process or sources because apparently it is some really hard stuff to get by and all props to them because if you have created such a wild monster, you wouldn't want to share its formula. What is really impressive about this stage 3 VRS 245 all-wheel drive is that if you remember the wild 600 bhp VRS we covered a month ago or so, this car feels more or less like that thing. Absurd grip, spine shattering acceleration and power probably like nothing else you've ever felt. 9 out of 10 times, this thing is as fast as the 600 bhp car. But of course, after a point, the 600 bhp car will be in a different planet. Now for the people asking about the draggy times for this car, we will be creating a dedicated Instagram post revealing the absurd times this thing has been able to achieve. So go follow us on Instagram to know the complete story. All in all, this thing is a proper sports sedan that has completely taken me aback because of its tremendous versatility. And I'm super excited for the future of our country now that we are also pioneering in the Indian tuner scene. This is the only one in the world currently and that is super cool. We are coming out with a new and updated website thedriversup.com and we are coming out with a new segment called TDH Classifieds, a platform where you can buy and sell performance cars and performance parts. In fact, this car is going to be on sale on TDH Classifieds and if you like it, do stay tuned because things are only getting better. Thank you so much for watching, take care and peace.